Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, I don't know what happened there. There seems to be a bit issue with um, uh, Streamlabs. I couldn't see uh, if the audio was being picked up or not. But hopefully, uh, all the audio is coming through. Um, for some reason, I'm not sure if the uh, gameplay audio is going to come through. So we'll find out as we go through. But I don't see any kind of movement on the desktop audio. But oh, wait. There we go. It's working. Yeah, so apologies. All right, so I, I thought I'll stream a bit of Gundam today. I've um, not played Gundam in a while. Um, yeah, and I thought, why not? But there was a bit of a hiccup or a faux pas on my end uh, where, um, yeah, <laughs> the save files from the last game was corrupted. So we have to start again. So I have to go through this bit. Uh, but we'll jump straight into it. I know we got quite far last time, uh, but I'm hoping this time around we get further. But I do like Gundam. Gundam's a fun, fun game. Uh, that should be enjoyed by more people. Um, this is what Gundam building is all about. Um, so uh, we just need to get through these initial screens and then we can jump straight into it. And try and catch up where we were last. But we had some fun. And I'm sorry, Manga helped us build a Gundam. Go into the import now. Uh, and her Gundam's probably lost to the uh, elements of time, so... There we go. Right, so basically, premises, uh, you're a kid who's joined the school. Uh, the school's premises, they build Gundams and they battle them in tournaments. And the aim is to be the world number one team in Gundam building. And the great thing is, it's like, uh, it's kind of like just mech building. You're building to your specs. Uh, so this is just the tutorial mission uh, that we're going to jump through and then and as you can tell it, it just goes in hard <laughs> okay yeah it just goes in hard it just kind of just throws you into it um, and it just tells you okay so these are the buttons you've got your light attacks you've got your heavy attack and then you've got your kind of boost uh, and movement and targeting uh, so yeah but it, it's quite straightforward if you played like dynasty warriors or something like that then it's very reminiscent of that but it's like it's an action game overall uh, the more the more fun elements of this game is probably around the actual customization in the building so you can build pretty much whatever you want and yeah so when you kill an enemy it has a chance to drop parts as well um, parts have a rarity system as well so like um, those games uh, or looter shooters or loot games um, they drop different rarities so you want to capture root, uh, loot and do missions and stuff so you get more of the rarer stuff as well and obviously there's different difficulties Let's try and finish these off quickly as possible yeah, so this is, these initial missions are quite boring. Um, the real fun gets into the kind of later games or the end game of it, where you can start like merging parts. And I think that's the bit we got to last time uh, in this game. And it was actually quite fun. I'm just gonna turn the volume down. I'm not sure uh, if the game's volume is quite loud. Okay, yeah, I just turned it down a bit. Yeah, uh, it just it just gets it gets quite uh, full on at times, but the music in this is I, I like I like a lot. Yeah, you get different abilities as well. So there are super attacks and like um, sub weapons. Oh, we got a beam saber as well. Oh, we should use the beam saber. There's going to be something around this ridge here. You can mix and match weapons as well. I mean, like, are you, there's equipment options. Um, so one of the things this suit has, it has a beam saber. And that's like an optional item type deal. 
that you don't actually necessarily need to fight with it. Okay, cool. Yeah, so one of my favorite games. I love playing this. This is quite a fun one. Yeah, if the audio sucks, I'll probably change it in the next one. But for now, I think you guys can hear me. Oh yeah, so this is telling me how to do EX actions. So it's normally um, put onto a trigger and it's telling me how to change kind of priority targets and targets and stuff. Oh, that's a horrible hit. Uh, this one means business. No priority targets here. There we go. Yeah, I'll try to I, I'll try to spam the abilities as quickly as possible. Just to kind of lay in as damage much damage as possible. Because the EX bits uh the EX abilities kind of just charge off really quick. Yeah, if you've been watching my playthrough of Final Fantasy 16, you tend to see I spam a lot of abilities with no kind of real strategy behind it. But if it works, it works. What can I say? Um, right, into the next area. Just pick up some loot. So there are chests and stuff open in the uh, world. You collect plastics. Um, I think you use these plastics to buy items. Actually, no. I lie. You use them to synthesize items later on into the game. So yeah, you kill things, uh, they drop plastic, and you can do what you want with them. Ooh. That was a big boy there. Although, that, that, if you can manage to get Zeong's legs, <laughs> they're actually really cool. Because it helps you hover, and it turns you into a bit of a tank. So... That as quickly as possible. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're gonna keep spawning in, and I like I like the way they look plastic as well. So like the Gundam, it actually does feel like probably one of the better Gundam games out there at the moment. I I play I play um past Gundam games, and none of them feel like I like the whole kind of gunpla idea. Oh yeah, and this is cool. I love the way the enemies kind of the boss is kind of uh, charging uh, to the battle. Oh, I think we killed this now several times. Oh, he hits hard as well. We'll take down his shield. We've got to be careful. Because they can do some charge attacks themselves. This one makes the... Um... Oh, he's taking our arm. Yeah, so you got to also be careful. Your parts can come off too. And then that means you, you, you lose the weapons attached to that piece of equipment. So he's lost his arm right now. And he's getting it back. And that just meant he couldn't use his sword for a bit. Uh, we're just going to try and lay as much damage. Oh, we picked up some hands off him. We've got his head. And there he goes. So we beat him. Once again, very early missions in this. Uh, very easy. Not that difficult. But you can change the levels as well. So this is a cool bit. We, we get GP. And that means we can buy stuff, but then we can also get items that we got or loot 
and you can go through them and you can see we picked up some cool stuff like so we got some uh hands uh, that we can use as melee weapons so we don't have to use a beam saber you have some guns and beam guns and all sorts um let's see that was the head oh sorry i got a big ass um i got head we've got zaku arms oh well, that's some cool uh, arms and th there's different levels to items as well so you not only get different um rarities but each item have different levels as well which means it has better performance and if you want to see things in detail there's the l2 button which shows you kind of more information on there if they have additional abilities so certain items will have additional abilities like for example you could have a gun with an inbuilt cannon and then you could use that cannon arm to say and use it so let's just obtain all of it and i'll show you what it looks like um, i've already gone through this once before so okay we're just going to skip the story uh i think we've seen this basically she's going to say oh you've done amazing okay now join my team um and then we were like yeah great we can join the team and now we've got access to all um the abilities now to kind of assemble paint and change our gundam so the cool thing is you start off with this base level gundam uh very simple stuff uh we've got no design so we have to create some our own designs if we hit back um and then what we can do is we can go to assemble and in assemble this is where the fun begins you can fine tune your gundam you can collect more parts and then you can uh, equip uh, optional stuff and abilities so gundams in the gundam series you'll probably see them have like things like trans am and uh, all these abilities that kind of improve its endurance so you can equip the exact same thing here as well um so what i tend to do quite early on in the game is rather than saying all right uh so this was the sword we had at the beginning it looks really really cool right um uh, but what i tend to do is i'm gonna just probably go with uh whatever has the highest level so we're just gonna say all right we're gonna go with hands wait oh i'm oh, sorry i hit back by mistake um so we're gonna hit hands uh okay so we have the currently this kind of machine gun thing we've been using but what we can actually do is equip some better guns so i'm gonna go with the beam rifle because i like beam weapons uh so gundam tier a beam guard and physical guard so you could do physical damage or you could do beam damage and this is based on the type of weaponry your gundam equips so you can handle different situations better um so here uh, look at that cool looking helmet so we've got the standard gundam 3 or a gun mark three but let's equip that you can start to see uh designs are going to get a little bit more wilder so we've got the gm Ooh. okay those arms are horrific equip the zaku arms oh or we could equip these arms they look nice but in terms of armor doesn't give us much so these give us more armor so we equip that got the gundam uh g3 gundam uh, legs we can equip something more basic but gives us one percent mobility so we'll stick with what we have what is spike armor just notice our arms give us spike armor oh the zaku shield becomes selectable okay but what does spike armor mean um let me see if i can Oh, adjustment without parts is 1%. Okay, nothing special there. Uh, okay, backpack, we've got to keep the same. Oh, we can equip a better shield. But right now we've got the Gundam 3 Baker Breaker Shield. We can equip the Gundam or the Zaku. We can stick with the Zaku Shield. But we're probably going to stick with the Zaku Shield just because it offers a higher degree of resistance to beam and physical. Oh, that just generally means we can bit more crazy stuff and then actions uh this is where you can uh equip uh different abilities uh based off the weaponry you have so right now because we've got the zaku arms we could do boost tackle um let's see what else do we have nope that's it and then optional equipment we could equip beam tables and stuff but that's all we have uh yeah and this is going to be it so we're going to hit back and now we're just going to paint it also it all looks kind of neat like it's like a, a one piece uh, so yeah, this is just going to give you the kind of insights of it. Uh, you've got different surfaces. You can paint them all at once as well. So if I click on paint all. 
Um, paint all parts with the same color. Okay, all right, so I just want to change it to a and save. Oh, okay, wait, why hasn't it done that? Okay, I'm not sure why that's not working. Okay, uh, some odd bits there. Let's see. Let's see. Let's let's figure it out. Let's. Uh, there must be a reason why. Uh, oh wait, we could probably paint the different surfaces here. So all all is all unit. You can say, okay, cool. Let's. I think I think I think yeah. Let's just go with black and gold. I think we did that last time anyway, and it looks pretty cool. Uh, is there a way we could do the arms? Change that bit. Let's see. Let's see what colours we can give it. It's going to be metallic, so make it blue. Yeah, that looks. Ah, it looks. It will do for now with it. So <laughs> it will do in this instance. So now that we got that. Um, I think the next step would be to uh, get this thing out. So right now, this is our Gundam, uh, or what we've built so far. Uh, I'm happy with it. Let's apply these changes and close it. Uh, let's just change its pose. Uh, and then what you can do is like you can go through different poses, make it do some cool things. Uh, Say, so, okay, I don't want the shield. Oh, they, I don't want the weapon. You can equip the weapon, shield you can take off. Um, uh, let's see, what else can we do? We can change the background. There you go. How's that look? Does that look, does it look cool? It's the shield that makes it awkward, right? Oh, wow. Let's see if we can tilt. Can we hide the stem? How do we hide the stem and say, okay, I don't want the base to be. Uh, oh, base, action base. There we go, take it off. There you go, and that's the pose. And what we could say is do that, screenshot that. There we go, take a screenshot. All right. So we, we, we built our Gundam, so now we should be able to see it. Uh, yeah, we go back to the hangar. Uh, we should now be able to see it. And there it is, in the background, in all its glory, just being there and minding its own business. And then what you want to now do is uh, basically, rather than multi, you could actually do the missions with another player if they have that game, uh, or you could just go straight into missions. Uh, the missions themselves are not even that difficult. So this is just going to explain about missions here. Um, and you'll have a, a AI partner that will tell you, um, you know, uh, or that will give you an AI partner that will help you out on the missions as well. So uh, I, I, I've played this game before, so I'm just going to play it on hard. And then we close, and then we're just going to deploy. I'm going to try our new Gundam. So this Gundam here, it's got a lot of physical weapons. Uh, it has, uh, actually no, it doesn't. It just got normal hands and uh, a beam shield. A beam sword, sorry. But as you can see, look look how cool it looks. It's cool shiny. You can make it matte as well. I think this is like an otaku's... Uh... Very cool. Okay, this... okay I don't know what uh, physical attacks do. But let's change our beam saber. Oh wow! You can fire beam weapons. Oh, you can charge a beam shot as well. Uh oh. 
All right, so yeah, you also get like different enemy units as well. So some of you might recognize that Gundam. It's the Ultron Gundam from the Wing series. Trying to upcut it. Okay. Might have to somehow do some tackling. I've got some I've got some uh, abilities to help me heal as well. I'm gonna try and Oh wow. Oh wow, he really threw me far. <laughs> okay, I gotta learn. Wait, so that does an uppercut. Do that. If I hold that. Nope. Okay, we're going to use our beam saber. I just don't feel like the hands are doing much. Okay. Oh, wait, we can do... There we go, a nice little jump kick. Ooh. Guys, frame. Oh wow! Oh wow! Our, I forgot our partner has a couple of bazookas as well, and bazookas are in, the, in this game are absolutely fantastic. And you got to be careful about boosting too much as well. Oh. Did you see what that that, that Ultron Gundam did? It extended its arms. Gotta be careful about things like that. Better off just doing standard hits. Okay, we are making progress. It's just there's a lot of uh, trash mobs and we're not exactly well equipped with weapons. I find Gundam's only fun when you have like ridiculous weaponry uh, and we've got very basic at the moment. All right, let's move on to the next bit. So I would recommend checking out this game. This game is actually really fun. I, I think it's like uh, probably um, one of the most underrated games. Uh, yeah, if you want to get the English version, you have to pick it up from a... Um, the, the, I, I picked the Malaysian store. I think you can get from the Hong Kong PlayStation store as well. And I think it's on discount at the moment for less than a couple of quid. So for those who are interested in how to get this game, uh, you can just create a, uh, an Asian PlayStation account and then uh, load it with the respective um, credit uh, from those uh, territories. So in this instance here, I've created a Malaysian PlayStation account and then I loaded it with Malaysian PlayStation store credits and then spent it, uh, spent it on this game. So definitely another way of doing it. I do actually have the physical copy of this game sealed as well. So quite proud of that actually. And it has the DLC. Oh, I lost my head, as you can see there. Gotta be careful here. Yeah, yeah the beam say uh, the, the beam sabers are doing all right. I mean, but what I tend to find is like, uh, that oh, that was pretty cool.
Yeah, I haven't found a good way to weave in the, the, the beam saber. I'm just kind of spamming it. Alright. So we should also oh, try and open up as much uh, chests as possible as well. Although this chest has a lot of good gear in there as well, so worth doing that. Yeah, tomorrow we'll be back onto streaming the normal stuff. But, um... Well, tonight I just wanted to play something. I can just have some mindless fun. And Gundam Break is that game for me. Everyone has like a, a, a pick up and play game. Uh, Gundam Breaker for me is that kind of game. Ooh. I've noticed we haven't got a lot of part drops. Um, yeah, this could be a bit worrying to see what we get at the end of it. I think in our last run, we got something much better. But the, the more, the, the funny thing is, if you restart this game out nine times out of ten, every playthrough will be completely different. You will never have the same experience as someone else. Because it all depends on the loot you get and then the gunplay you build from it. Right. It's a bit full on, though. I, I do like the music. Uh, and yeah, the way they present the boss fight sometimes just come out of a, a box. This isn't a player, this is a, a staged boss. Okay. Got a Whitlitz shield down. Okay, it's weak to beam. I've got his arms. There we go. Okay, we're about to trash this dude. It's got, it's, actually, it doesn't have its beams on now. So we can actually go through damage. So it has a yellow bar. Ah, oh, we missed it. I was trying to get to that box. I was thinking, oh great, we could have opened it. But hey, sometimes it just doesn't work out. All right, now, Let's see, what do we get? This is the fun bit. All right, so we got some good burst, burst action. Okay, so if we set the right parts, we can use these actions. Have we got Shining Finger? I think that's because of the arms we got. The martial arts hands. Beam Saber. There was actually a, a weapon that allowed me to kind of pick up and throw people over my head. It was like suplexing. Uh, it was actually quite a fun ability. So, let's see uh, if we can equip that. Then we've got standard Gundam stuff. Uh, we've got Rising Gundam's body, which is kind of cool. Uh, Shining Gundam's arms. Oh, but we got these arms, which is a level four. A massive improvement. If you look at the armor differences here, uh, as an example, so you got there's 4,500 armor, 4.5k, then you've got 6k here. And then, ooh, some nice legs here. DM commands, ooh, not sure about that. But these might come with a missile pod, and we can actually use that in battle. Um, Yeah, so backpack-wise, ooh, we have a different quality grade. So you might notice this item is green compared to um, the other parts we have here. So we'll definitely equip that. Uh, what does it actually give us? It says magnetic coating. What does that actually mean? Um, oh, machine to resistance. Okay, cool. Uh, and then we've got curved shield, which gives us more beam resistance. And some plastic. All right, so let's obtain all and re-equip our Gundam. And what you're going to find that is right at the beginning, you're going to be constantly switching out equipment all right so let's go straight into assemble let's say all right confirm this and melee hands let's see what is the better 
I know hands. Okay, so it's going to be the martial art hands, but they're both the same. So we'll do that. Now we got the same options again. We'll probably stick with the Gundam uh, armor. And then we got some more powerful heads. So we got Dragon Gundam head. That look, kind of looks cool with uh, our gold. Let's see. It has better response speed. So this just means that when you press the button, it does the action a lot faster. We will probably have to go with the Gundam heads. The Dragon Gundam still looks cool. I do like the look of it. We've got Shining Gundam. Hmm, let's try Okay. All right, so response speed. 4% is a lot. 4% is a lot. So let's go with. We like that though. Okay, now we have to go with response speed. Uh, okay, uh, we are going to go straight with Rising. And we'll change the colors in a sec. Um, let's see. And then it has to be these arms here. It actually starts to look like its own Gundam, which is cool. But this is where it's going to start changing. So we're going to have to go with the Zaku 2 missile pods. And then this piece uh, here. Chobham armor becomes selectable. Okay, so that means we're going to have some uh, actions which we can equip. All right, magnetic coating. What does that actually mean, though? Why can't I? Response speed. Okay. So we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll probably want that. Um, right. So. Then if we pick this, that's fine. And then we've got the curve shield. But we're probably going to have to go with... Cobham armor. Wow, it just adds weight to everything. Why is it? It's blue, which means it's pretty rare, more rarer than green. Let's see. Physical guard, 10%. Well, let's equip that. And then actions. Cool. So this is where we're going to have additional abilities. All right, if we equip the arms, the shining arms, we would have been able to get shining finger. We don't have a uh, cross slash because we haven't equipped the weapons. So the only thing we've got is Mirage Shot, which is fine. Now, this is where we are going to get additional weapons here. So we can say triple missile and cool beam savers. All right. Now, this is the important part. This is where we have to paint the Gundam to make sure it looks uh, right. So the entire unit, let's make it. Right. We could go with a, with a, a chromey color. More kind of metallic. Yeah, we'll do that. And then what's this? The same, this part here. Maybe go with a kind of a more. I don't know. I don't know what colors to go with. Uh, let's, let's just go with the black. You can't go wrong with black. And then what's this bit here? Oh, we could change that to the red. Yeah. Start to look okay. Then, let's see. These bits here. Gold. The bit I want to change is his face. His face don't look right. Because uh, he's got that. I don't know if it's because it's reflected. Seems like he's got some, like, eye bags. 
Oh, okay, cool. Maybe we just keep that red, chrome red. Yeah, it's starting to look like something. All right, uh, and then, oh, oh, there's there's a blue part. Okay. Oh, let's just match it gold. Gold, black, and red. There, yeah, looks good. And then the, the glow colors, we can choose whatever we want for that. Yeah, let's just go with the blue. There you go. Let's let Gundam. All right, let's um, back that out. Go straight to the hangar. There it is, in all its glory, standing there. Right, now, let's move on to the next mission. That's all right, we're not going to change that. And we can say, okay. Right, so this is going to be a bit of a learning curve because every time you change your weapons, obviously you're probably going to need to figure out what the controls are. But look at it. I don't know, we haven't given it a name yet. Straight out there, doesn't care. All right, we're going to check out his basic attacks. Ooh, that's a little trip. Wait, it's got a shield. It's got some hands. Okay, we still got that. And then we got Mirage Shot. Oh, look at that! Okay, let's try the missile pods out. Got some missile pods there. Let's try it. Oh, and we got dual sabers as well. Okay. It's very strong uh, clo in close range. It just doesn't have any range of water in it. Oh, where did that come from? Okay, I'm still trying to get used to the weapons. They're really weird. I'm trying to just pick everything apart. Yeah, we don't really do well in the air. I do like that mirage shot. That mirage shot's cool. Yeah, so let's try a missile pods out. Okay, the missile pods are cool, but they don't really um, kind of do a lot of spread damage. But let's just try back uh, our beam sabers. Oh, this dude has a fan. Okay, let's just shoot him down. There you go, it's done. Oh, wow. Okay, before we move on, let's just try and get some gear. I think he's up. Oh wait. Oh, I don't have the height. There we go. Oh, and we got some uh, items. So it's always good to open those pods. All right, next area. Let's see. There's going to be some challenging ones. There always are. Uh, the, the enemy units also change as well from mission to mission. There we go. I'm going to just do that. Got to be careful of those beam shots as well.
primary eye shot here. Ah, uh, see, there's always going to be some sort of elite unit that will appear. Just got to be careful about them. There we go. These elite units are going to be rough. I'll find out their weaknesses. Oh, we have a lot of beam weaponry as well, but we, the good thing is... Our, we've got a lot of offensive um, physicals as well because like it's martial arts based so because the uh, arm pieces we selected so in theory we should have oh wow that thing healed itself I feel like the Vulcan cannons don't do much. Okay. <laughs> that dude just keeps hitting us from range. Okay. Okay, we're going to take this dude out. Okay. They're just going to keep running at us, so... Yeah, Mirage Shot doesn't do much either, so it's either the weapon we got to do the Mirage Shot with is rubbish, or we've just not, like, geared up properly. And I think, because we're running it on hard as well, uh, it feels like we're a bit, uh, the, the, the enemies are a bit spongy. But it doesn't matter. I mean, like, at the end of the day, right? What, what really matters is trying to survive without getting hit and collecting the parts farming these hard things like like we just got like there those are the kind of parts we want it's from these high-end gundams i want to try and get that fan that she's using i want to get more aoe weapons but i just don't feel like we've got enough yeah you've got to kind of get used to your partner's uh, voice Okay. All right. One second. I've just got to adjust the audio. Cause, um, there we go. Hopefully that should be better. All right. Let's tackle. Oh, get out there. Yeah, you get better maneuverability as well as you play the game for longer. Uh, as you get more thruster. Uh, right now we've got very early thruster in this game and it's not a lot. Which means we can't hover or do any kind of real flying. Like right now, we do have a bit more thruster than what we did before. All right, that looks size like that bad boy. Oh, can we do the damage? No, we can't. I was hoping we could one shot it. See these arms. Ah, oh, he see paralyzed me there. Got to be careful of that. That's not going to be a good look. Okay. I'm going to try and rugby tackle this dude. Go, Mirage Shot. We go, take him out with a simple punch. Oh, yeah, this Gundam looks really cool. Uh oh. Okay, so let's see if we can whip them down. I'm trying to figure out. I think he's beam resistant. Oh, 
Oh wow, he really moves. Oh wow, okay, yeah, we got him, we got him, we got him, got him, got him. Got him. All right, let's now try and hit him with the heavy punches. Oh, nice. So, we got hopefully some good items there. Um, and we'll find out now <laughs> as we go through it. But, it felt like we got some good items. Anyway, I felt like I got some good items. Okay. We got something called Force Extend. Okay, I don't know what that means. So we're just probably going to acquire all. And then look at it from the loadout view. Yeah. Just going to tell us that we've entered the tournament and we're about to win it. So I really want to catch up to where we left off last time. So we're probably going to be skipping some of the story. Um, okay. Ain't. Uh, okay, no, no, let's just go to the assemble. And see what we can equip. So, let's see. Uh, claws are probably... Well, melee claws seem to be the highest. Or we have a heat fan. Okay, that looks cool. We're going to try that out. Oh, wait, we've got that B beam. Okay, we need to go with whatever does the most damage at the moment. So we're going to stick with that. Um, and then, oh, we got the rifle from the um, that Gundam we killed at the end. So hopefully, let's see, what does it do? It's got a charge shot as well. So we'll see what that's all about. Uh, probably going to keep the head. I don't see anything uh, that's going to be better than what we have at the moment. Uh, no, we don't. So, all right. So, uh, body's the same. Oh, got a higher grade. Okay, so this is... A higher grade's armor is a lot more. So, we'll probably have to go down that route. Uh, no new legs. It's going to be pretty difficult to find anything better than what we have for our back. But that looks pretty cool. But uh, we're just going to go on performance. And we got the best back at the moment. Okay. And we got a chop and beam shield. And we got uh, a new. An, oh, an actual beam shield. But the chop and armor has to stick. So sorry about that. That's what we're using. All right. And then this leads us into new abilities okay because we wow okay we're gonna try this out performs consecutive attacks by rotate that's gonna be fun it's just rotating a beam saber if you keep holding circles so let's see what that's about and then we've got the standard beam sabers yeah all right let's um do that so as you can see our gundam's slowly evolving um now let's paint. Where's its arms? Um. Okay, I'm gonna just be. There we go. We're just gonna paint all that, and then this can be that kind of. There you go. Okay, and then we go back to the hangar. Uh, I'm quite curious to see uh, what that new weapon we have is, because I've never seen that before. There you go, Gundam Barbatus in the background there. All right, mission counter. Let's jump into it. I think this was made before Barbatus, wasn't it? Like uh, Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans. When did Gundam Iron-Blooded Orphans come out? I'm not quite sure. Uh, bear with me for one moment. I'll just make sure my tweet went out about playing this game.
There we go. Oh, I'll keep that one there. Okay. All right. Now, where are we? We are uh, on the next mission now. So, change that to hardcore. Let's select that. It's tournament rules now. Oh, wait, close. Ah, uh, we don't want to come here. We just wanted to deploy. There we go. And there's our big boy. Ready to go. Launching into the unknown. Let's test out this weapon. Oh, wow. I like that a lot. I haven't tried out the, the gun yet. The gun looks pretty cool as well. Oh wow, this weapon is groundbreak. What's groundbreak? Oh wow, you can slam the sword into them. Or the axe, sorry. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's pretty powerful uh, compared to the last weapon we had. Oh, right. Oh, this thing cuts like butter. Try that. Yes. This weapon is pretty, pretty powerful stuff. Wow. Okay. I need to take this dude out. Come on, he needs to die. There we go. As soon as he had a platform, I thought, okay, this is going to be a problem. And maybe that's how we can be more airborne. We can somehow get a, a, a floating hovercraft or something. Oh, wait, we lost our arm. Oh, this weapon, it, that, that, this rotating fan thing is pretty cool. Hey. Why are they running? I don't know why. Oh wow, I can charge it? That's pretty cool. Oh, here's some enemy units. 
Right, these guys look like they mean business. I know one of them is like the Wing Gundam. on them head oh wait yes Oh, we blitzed him! Oh, wow, that wasn't even the end of the mission. Uh... Alright, on to the next part. Let's see what it brings. Let's hope some of... Some of the other uh, enemies will drop better loot. I'm very curious to see if we can get the, the Wing Gundam's Buster Cannon, uh, which was like a one-shot kind of gun that just basically destroyed everything. It's like one just massive beam rifle. Ooh. Itchy lip. All right, so I just think I think this build's going to work out pretty well, actually. I don't think I want to change um, this kind of spinning blade just because the amount of damage it does. Just cuts like. Butter. Oh, uh, okay, that, that. There we go. All right, time to open the chest. Oh, I've got at least we got some items. Charge through them all. Oh, wow. Right, Mirage shot. Maybe. like doing that the heavy attack and circle that's working pretty well demolishing them all right let's okay we need to block more my head okay now enemy players come on ready oh, these guys are like business one's a range fighter I know one's a close right what 
It's got like two massive guns on them. He's got, he's just like, did he just like super power up or something? All right, okay, now we're going, now we're going, now we're going. Oh wow, we still not done this, have we? All right, my all armor repair. Get the health up and then move on to the next section. Oh, I think the moss for this is going to be some sort of super big Gundam. But let's see. All right. We've got some chunky Gundams here in... Oh, that's the Chubham armor thing that we've got. So we already got that. That's like a shield. It's not really a... Oh, and we've taken his armor off. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Come on, take. This, this weapon is just fun. This feels like it cuts through anything. It's very kind of OP for this uh, mission. Right. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. take them out yes we have all right let's see what's around the corner it's probably going to be i think we're getting close to the end of it i don't know if it was in this section the last time we played it i know we got past this bit Chop it up. Oh, can nasty fall there, but let's. Okay, now let's uh, try the missile pods. Nice. I think we need to get better missile packs something like that because like it just feels like those missile pods don't do enough damage okay these guys seem like a coordinated team Can we finish it off? Yes, we have. Smash right through it. This one seems like a more range fighter. Oh, wow. 
it's done some sort of interference field so it stops me using beam weapons which is kind of cool because it kind of gives you tactics then <laughs> yeah, your parts are now mine. Oh, we finished the mission. Okay, so fingers crossed we got something really good. I'm not sure what we might have got, but might have got something. You never know. Let's see what that is. Okay. Oh, okay, so we've got a tornado axe. Oh, the recharge rate on it is legendary. Okay. Anyways. Oh, oh no. Uh, tornado Axe is a EX action, so we'll probably need to equip an axe. Oh, chain mines are good. Beam Saber level 4. Okay. Oh, a hyper bazooka. Got Wing Gundam's head, but quite low level. EM commands. Got new arms. Those look cool. Okay, got some. Ooh, I don't know what those are? The side of it. Uh, does it say what it is? Stern Faust. Uh, I don't know what that is, but we'll figure it out. Um. Ooh, a new back option. Some plastic. Okay, let's obtain all and go back to the drawing board. All right, how do we evolve this further? Confirm. All right, so right now we've got a level four item. Uh, we'll probably need to start sorting things out. So let's go sort by, I normally say, Rarity level and then maybe that power. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. Okay. And back. Okay, cool. Um so far I'm enjoying the heat fan, so I'm probably not gonna change that. Yeah, it doesn't look like we, we gain much by just changing. Yeah, okay, we're gonna do that. Once again, let's change our sort options by rarity level, no wait. Rarity level and attack power. And it looks like, oh yeah, the hyper bazooka. All right, bazooka it is. Um, Let's look at other heads. I think we just know it's just going to be this. Uh, right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Sorry, hit the wrong button. Just know it's going to be the camphor. But for now, let's just do... Okay. Okay. And for it is body, we have a new challenger. I have to go with this uh, just because of the armor points. So there we go. Arms. Let's uh, sort again uh, and say, what's number one? Number one circle. Okay. Rarity, level, and then name. Yeah, so we've still got the uh, best arms in the game. Yeah, it's, it just brings it down by 18,000. So it's pointless. We might as well just keep the current arms. Legs. Uh, nice, we've got to use these legs. Uh, anyway, rarity level. Yeah, we definitely need 
Get this out. Priority level name. Sorry. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, we got the best back uh, equipped. Um, yeah, we're not changing that. So we're probably going to stick with this. Uh, shield. Best shield we got. Um, okay. And then... We can equip Tornado Axe as our new ability. And then... Figure out what these stern valves are. I'm quite curious to see what they are. They look pretty uh, devastating. All right. Um, sorry, I just realised something. We had an option to change how we walked. What's that movement? Uh. Okay, we're gonna hover. We got hovering as an option, let's hover. Okay, uh, paint. All right, let's go for a different color. These kind of matty colors look decent. I think we can change how metallic they look as well. Yeah, how glossy they are. I don't think the gloss is that great. All right, I, I think I think that's a good color. Um, yeah. Um, okay, confirm. And then let's see this part. Okay, uh, can we, can we, can we just. I don't know. Some, some of the, some of these colors look wild. Silver, maybe. Oh, a white. White looks nice. Oh no, I think we've done red too much now. Ooh, I like the blues. The blues look decent. All right, so these parts should go for that kind of matty black again. Oh, wait, wait we haven't finished that. Yeah, okay. These parts. Make them slightly more glossy if we want you to. Okay. Go with a, a, a black gloss on that. These parts. Oh, these parts we can change uh, whatever color. So we can make these uh, a different accent altogether. Actually, we're going for another nice little goldy look. How do I change? Not that. How do I change those little, uh, I want to try and figure out how do I change the, uh, the those stern things. quite sure that uh, doesn't matter does it i mean it is what it is um okay cool uh 
Um, let's. Yeah, I'm ha I'm happy with that. Let's uh, let's leave. Go back to the hangar. Hmm. Right, bear with me for one second. I'll be right back. I need to get a drink. Let the riveting music play a little longer. All right, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, and I'm back. Uh, let's jump straight back into it. All right, cool. So we built our new Gundam. There he is, nice little big boy. Uh, it looks pretty cool, but the question is, is it any good? And this is where we're going to find out. So we are now. Is this on hardcore? Yes, it is. And there we go. Oh, I forgot. We got a bazooka now. Oh, wow. See the damage that thing did. All right. All right I want to try the storm. Oh, wow. Okay. They do not really that, that, that much great of damage. Okay, that is a good that is a good move. Wow, these things are melee resistant. Just stand back. Oh wow, we're really smashing through these guys. Wow, those things do a lot of damage. Oh wow, what are you doing up there? Uh oh. Oh, well, oh wait, we, we, we've beaten those things before. Well, we got a lot of those parts already.
There we go. <laughs> I just noticed I got a green item. Okay, that's going to be very helpful. And it was an arm piece, I believe. Oh, wow. This this got the, really does cut through them. Got uh, like butter. Got so many offensive options. Like it. Like, when you do, when you do that and you take out a whole cluster. Ah, uh, this, this slice and dice is ridiculous. And I feel like I'm getting so many parts. And I've still got my bazooka to boot. And I haven't even used those campers yet. There's just so many offensive options on this. Really enjoy this. I can't wait to fight a boss now. Uh, let's just heal up. <laughs> I was like, this we have a lot of AOE options here. Like even at. Right, bring him, bring him. I think we're ready. Oh, these guys look like they're ready for like sand battles. I lost a part, I lost a part. Wow, we've taken them out so quickly. Don't give him time to reset. Okay, that was very easy. Oh, I've got to make sure I did this on uh, Hardcore because it doesn't feel like it. All right, this is turning out to be a... Oh, a blue! All right, we're getting some items in this game today. All right. Charge straight into them. I've got to take the shield up. I've got to be careful when they have their shields up. They seem to be bouncing more around the weaponry. There we go. I'll protect you. There we go. The Rick Dorms are down. Oh, wait, wait, there's one there.
Oh, they must get really annoyed. Because this build is just crazy. I don't think I cut this easily through before. Because once you get them in the air with the bazooka, it's just like mowing them down with the beam saber. It's just. And then I could just do the axe thing. There we go. And we're going to. Okay. Okay, now we're just going to keep firing the bazookas at everyone. Wow. It's pure carnage. That's all these. Oh no no, okay. I got I got worried there for a sec. I was thinking, damn. If they're on the ground, that, that axe swing doesn't do anything. Oh, I missed it. Oh, you don't have your back piece. No, you don't. No, you don't. And there we go. This is an absolute machine destroyer. I'm actually really happy with this Gundam. This is actually really fun. All right. Yeah, those leg, those um, damn things don't do much. Those strum things. Okay, now we got boss, and this is well. I mean, we beat the last boss is quite easy, but let's just see what these guys got. Ooh. Color-coded Gundams. Oh. Come on, finish it. Miss the axe. Oh, nice. 
Oh, that mission was quite easy, but I think it's because of how we built our Gundam. Oh wait, tonight is only going to be a short stream anyway, so I will probably stop in half an hour's time. But I wanted to just play Gundam Breaker. Right, multi blast. Ooh, multi blast bazooka. Nice. Right, so new EX action, a number of weapons. We went, we got, oh yes, see what I mean? We've got some um, crazy options now. Hey, I can't wait to see what our Gundam look, look like next. Okay, let's, let's attain it all. Hey, okay. all right. Looks like we made it past preliminaries. All right, let's assemble. All right, so we have a heat fan, which is great. But now we have a sword that does a lot of damage. We'll probably lose a lot of the abilities that we've uh, been depending on in the last battle. But sometimes, kind of just got to suck it up. Deal with it. Right, what's this do? Hot shot, rapid fire. I'll take rapid fire any day. Oh wow, there's 4k difference in armor there. Okay, we're taking the camper. Um, let's see. Uh, why hasn't that been filtered? Should have done that. Uh, rarity level. Okay, this is going to start looking like a monstrosity. But... Hey, just going with the higher values. Oh, wow. Lance DPS. We don't have a lance. Your machine's resistance. Oh, I do like these. They just look more futuristic. Okay. And then got I don't think we have a lot of um leg options. We'll keep it as that. You have a new backpack. There we go. Then let's see what we have here. Wait, what, what happened to our kind of shield? Is it like it's destroyed, therefore we can't use it? Oh, I suppose that makes sense. Um, okay. Uh, I'm fighting with that shield. Okay. Taking. Wait. Oh, they're both the same. It doesn't matter, does it? Okay. All right, actions. Let's see, what do we have? Area of damage. Okay, I like cross slash. Always good to have. And then. I like that. I want to try that out. Um, yeah, we lost our ability. Lost our good one. So we're probably going to be a bit crap in the next battle. But, you know, we'll, 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 we'll pick up more. We'll pick up more as we go along. Yeah, I don't want to rip any of those. All right, now, to make us not look like a freaking mess, we are 
going to paint every surface of this Gundam. I think we're going to go with... Actually, no, we're going to go with a custom color. We, we can... You can actually pick whatever color you want. Let's go with... I'm going to go with a white. Nice white. Wait, um, let's go metallic. Let's go, let's go halfway metallic. A little bit glossy. That's some nice. There we go. And then these surfaces as well. Here we go with the. Hmm. Options. I'll go white again. Oh, wait, wait, wait. The metallic. -y. There we go. Looking good so far. Looking good. These surfaces. I think we can go with a different accent. Yeah, that looks cool. And then go with a white. There. These parts go with a different colour. Ah, uh, it has to be gold, doesn't it? Gold and white looks good. Oh, there, yeah, the reds. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. So this is it, and then the glow. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. I'll say that, that's it. And then you can also add damage as well. So like you can see, like if you wanted to kind of add more battle hardened scuffs, you can do. It has stains around the feet. It's dirty. Oh wow, that's a no, oh, no, no, no. Okay, anyways, right. Let's just take that all down. I think I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, you can uh, photograph it, I suppose. Okay, let's let's get it into a pose that we're going to be happy with. about the pose um how do i zoom out oh here we go not sure about that Or you can change its location. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about any of this. This is pretty cool. Let's do that. Let's zoom in to capture some of that detail. There we go. I think that'll do. Yeah, all right. That's it. Then that's the pose. So every time now we want to go here, that will be the pose. Okay, that being said, back to the mission counter. Okay, what, what do we do this on? Does it actually tell you what you cleared it on?
Ouais. All right, this time around, no excuses. We're gonna say, make sure the save file doesn't get corrupted. This is where we, I think, we completed. Oh, look at, look how glorious that Gundam looks. Absolutely fantastic. Look how clean it is. Just ready for battle. All right. Okay, that looks like a threat. Oh, what the? Oh, what the? Oh, this guy is annoying. Okay. Oh. Why, why is he hit so hard? This is hardly fair. Uh oh. Try and whip it down. I can't even get close to it. It's not even fair. Oh, go. Oh, well, what's it doing? What's it doing? Uh, ah, damn it. Oh my god. Our Gundam looks so clean, but. Oh my god. What? Well, this is. It's like. It's just. Like turning Super Saiyan. Oh damn. She got. Bland. Alright, I think this is our time to transform, right? Oh, there we go. Oh, by the way, PG means perfect grade uh, for Gundam builders. Oh wow, just doing spins. Killed it, we killed it. Can we build a perfect raid? I want to build a perfect raid. I want to build a gun in that size. Will we get the opportunity to do so? I hope so. Right, got some GP, got some other items. We got some burst actions. That's gonna be fun. Got some anti-ship sort of wall. Got some new head option. Oh wow! Look at that. I think that came from the Gundam, didn't it? Right, noir. We'll take all of that. Okay, and we won our local team. Okay, she's just happy to have a team. We're probably going to now kind of move into the finals. 
Okay, as engineers have been added to the team, can now be used as weapons and ornamental equipment can be added to each part. So we can add more stuff to our Gumpla. It's kind of cool. And then we have uh, abilities to go Super Saiyan, uh, not Super Saiyan, but you know, go into our burst modes uh, using L3 and uh, R3. It's good. Your Awakening Gorge will drop to zero when you redeploy it after being immobilized. Okay, and we can create more and build more burst actions. So you don't have to just go with the standard. Let's see that picture we took. Look how amazing the Gundam looks. Okay, cool. So we have options now. So we've equipped the best we can. Which is the beam sabers, which we're probably gonna keep. Uh got once again we did get nice items but they do not uh outclass what we currently have nice heads but like i said doesn't outclass what we currently have i'm not taking a forty thousand armor point drop uh for it so maybe we can level I, I think there's a way we can level up the quality of it so we can do it that way Okay, what movable frame? What does that actually mean? What? what do you mean by movable frame? How do I get more information on that? Uh Oh, so square can merge. Durability, that's what it means. So durability, 10%. Compared to resistance. Uh, saber DPS. Oh, do we... We use a beam saber, so saber DPS might help. All right. We... Mm, okay, no. We're not going to go to that. It's... Wait, it's got better stats. Okay, I think we might move to that. Even though ours looks cool at the moment. Or we'll okay, we'll we'll we'll, we'll um yeah, actually yeah, no, it's fine. We said stats, we're looking at stats. Oh this strike Amphor looks good. What does strike noir give? More armor. Waiting duration just doesn't look right, does it? I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep our current legs, actually. Oh, build a part slots. Okay, what can we add? Both arms. We add missile pods. Or beam cannon. Okay, no, I'll just add missile pods there. Oh no, we're gonna add them at the top. Yeah, that 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 looks fine. Maybe change the scale a bit. There we go. Yeah, that looks cool. Okay, I think I think that does it. Our changes. Hmm. Where are those beam cannons? Maybe on the hips. I think um okay we'll, we'll just stick them there for now we'll scale them down a bit make them a decent size Uh, 
the hell is this? The more missile pods we can add on. Uh, we're all going to be missile podded up. Um, yeah, why not? I mean, if it gives us more weapons. Let's see. I was happy with our options. I mean, uh, let's, let's add missile pods to this. I'm not really happy with these strong fast things. Might just say, you know what? Move that equipment. Can I change the paint of the missile pods? parts here we go right I'm just gonna say there we go and it looks like it's part of the machine now we happy though uh let's see Go back to set up. Assemble. Got missile pods now, and we're just gonna. First action, here we go. Okay, what do we want? First breaker. Alright, there, yeah, okay. Got some uh, pretty cool abilities now. All right, back to the hangar. And there it is in all its glory. All right, now, I think it's gonna be one more mission for the road, just to catch up where we left off and make some progress. Okay, do hardcore, like that, and deploy. Now, let's see how much damage we can do with this particular build here. It's a very interesting build. Alright. Alright. Wow. I say the machine guns are pretty cool. It doesn't do as much damage as the other one, but it still does the job. This thing looks like a trouble, uh, to, um, uh, kind of enemy, just because of the, the, the uh, unsettling size of, yeah, of that weapon. But as you can see, 
I'm getting beamed to death. Okay, I've got, I haven't used the missile pod yet. Okay, the missile pods is probably going to be my go-to. I just don't think those dual sabers are doing much for me. Alright. We're just gonna go ham. I don't know what that is, but it it dies. Okay. I don't know what that was. That was just a Gundam riding a mammoth. This is not a good, uh, I just don't feel like this is as good as the last build. Yeah. I mean, it's survivable. It has a lot of HP, which is good. Yeah, it just doesn't feel as uh, robust as the last one. I think the last one was a lot better. Yeah. This did not play nice. Oh, I'm getting hit by like, like just massive beams. that have i missed that no i haven't okay great right now i think that rain shot does great damage however like i don't think the gundam sits st still enough for, for it to do anything kind of worthwhile like the end you need a whole group of enemies on it Man, I miss our last Gundam. We should have kept that. I just don't think we equip for AOE situations. Yeah. 
We're dead. Yeah, it is. He's dead. Okay. See, straight away, there's like a massive beam that comes out, and it's from this dude here. Gonna be two of them? No, it's just the one. Oh, wow. Crushed him fast. I didn't even feel like we did that much damage. I think the actual uh, other enemies in the area was probably more tougher than him. Okay, across the bridge. Alright, let's see what awaits us next. Uh oh. Right away, got ambushed. All these GMs are just hitting us with like long range. Come on. Oh, okay. Can't let you do that. Oh, how is it good at long range and with a saber as well? Because I feel like the enemies just have better builds. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really. Oh, wow. What is that? Oh, Rick, da uh, Rick Diaz. Let's fight on the pressure. We did that. Nice. So, this was just a brief stream today. Um, I think I'm going to end it there. Uh, I, I had fun. I wanted to just stream a bit of Gundam. Uh, I hope you guys actually enjoyed watching it. Uh, for those who are interested. Uh, I like to build Gundams as well. And, uh, yeah, it was just fun doing it. Um, so, I'm going to try and stream this ad hoc. Uh, but I'll try and share the stream so you guys are uh, sorry I'm just my eyes are hurting um, but yeah I'll, I'll, I'll put the stream up and you guys can just enjoy it I mean it's not really a well kind of publicized game these days because it's quite an old one but I tend to find it quite uh, still enjoyable it's one of those games that you can just keep playing and playing and it always is different just because obviously you get different parts and you can put together uh, very unique Gundams so I will acquire that. Oh, and we'll just uh, conclude it after this. Alright, so he's just going to be basically telling us that um, it's, we're going to enter a new tournament and we're going to try and win it. But let's have a quick look at the items before we uh, finish. Oh, so we do have some new stuff. Okay. but nothing we are nothing that really beats the current class that we have we do have better beam rifles probably will equip the better version of what we have once again not changing the head uh -uh. 
Oh, we have a better or higher quality uh, something that has more thrusters. So we'll definitely equip that. We have better arms. No, we don't. Uh, no, we got the better. Uh, we got arms that have better stats anyway. So, <laughs> wow. Uh, Mobility-wise, we found something better. Nice chunky legs. I think kind of spells Gundam without chunky legs. All right, I'm keeping that back. Gundam shields? Yeah, why not? We are keeping the missile pods. That's been absolutely awesome to have. The, we have more abilities. We've got something called Piercing Slash. Common Damage Melody DPS. Area of Damage. So we're going to probably use that probably a lot more. Let's see. Do we have anything else? Okay. I think that's pretty much it then. Uh, we are probably... Yeah. We're, we're probably going to leave it there. So, we're going to the camera. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, if you do like what you see, please follow my Twitch channel. Uh, also, we'll upload this onto YouTube as well, so follow me on there. Um, but I will continue to stream Gundam uh, till I'm bored of it. Um, I'm trying to get to... I've never platinumed this game, so it'll be interesting to see what it would take to platinum uh, Gundam Breaker 3. Uh, yeah, so... I stream on usually Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. I'm currently playing Final Fantasy 16. So join uh, uh, for those. Sorry, join those days uh, if you want to be able to follow me on uh, the Final Fantasy 16 journey to uh, or road to platinum series. Um, we're we're trolling along. The game's quite large, so it's taken a while, but we made significant process. So, like I said, uh, follow us on all our socials. And yeah, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you later. Peace.